So, as you go, said Jesus, make disciples of all the nations. Well, as you go was one of the commands they did fulfil, because they left Galilee, went back to Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. And there they were told by Jesus to wait until you receive the power from on high. Jesus in Galilee had given them a huge task. As you go, as you go through the rest of your lives, as you go here and there, make disciples of all nations. Teach them to obey everything I've commanded you. And that must have been reeling in their heads as together they went to fulfil their duty, to rejoice at the festival in Jerusalem, which must have brought up memories of that time not too far away that they'd been there watching Jesus die. And then had they really met him? Had they actually eaten with him? Had they heard him risen from the dead? Has he really just told them to go and make disciples of all nations? And then he meets them again in Jerusalem. But this time he's not just telling them to go. Not yet. Not yet. Stay. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Jesus never asks of us something we cannot do. That is actually what makes the commandment, as you go, make disciples, quite frightening. Because Jesus has given us the ability to do it. Yes, there are some people in the history of the church who have been able to stand under oak trees, to stand uh, on street corners, to stand in the pulpits of large churches and to proclaim the gospel, to lead missions. But most of us haven't come to faith that way. Most of us have come to faith because we see Jesus in the life of someone we respect. And it makes us prompt and ask questions, ask questions in our hearts to God, but also ask questions of that person. St Peter said, be prepared to give an account of the hope that is in you. We have to find the courage if we are really going to share our faith with the people amongst whom we live and move and have our being. We are going to have to find the courage to put our faith into words. Not other people's words, but to find simple words that express what our Christian faith means to us. To express it so that other people who are like us may themselves realise what Jesus can mean for them. And we won't do that by trying very hard or by practising. We will do it as we say to the Lord day by day, please help me in word and deed and by your life in me to share my love of you with those around me, that they too may come to know and love you and to find in you all they need for life.